are back here and apparently I noticed that when you accelerate fast Tony automatically goes uh, like a lean downwards and makes it a lot faster so that kind of makes the game a lot easier in some aspects especially in racing missions you, you cannot manually do that I think Oh, this is bad. Ah, if I see the animations. My own! Why am I surrounded by so many fucking idiots? Oh, I don't know. Birds of a feather? Oh, you're a fucking comedian. Well, laugh this off, wise guy. You're the one who's gonna clean this shit up for me. Now get over there and drag those morons back here. I find it funny, though. Uh, I find it funny the way that they, uh... The uh, talking animations in Vice City. I find that funny. Although I kind of like the walking and I mean the talking animations in. I prefer the talking animations in uh, the story games because I find that they are more. They look more natural compared to what we see in GTA 3 and Vice City or even San Andreas. So that is an area which Rockstar have significantly improved in the space of five years I think yeah they really improved on their animation through time so of course you can only get better with time and Rockstar kind of proved it in their stories games oh man there's something to explode get in come on oh my goodness now we are the cops this is not good at all uh, Please focus the camera, please focus the camera. Alright, time to head to the pay and spray. Ooh, they are really feisty. Ah, stop the car already. They don't want to stop the car, they are very fast. See? Okay. I don't even know how many frames we are playing the game at. Although, I, if there are some slowdowns, it is probably because of my screen recorder, which is recording. Um, and the game, they are running at the same time with the game, so it is probably going to cut a few frames. The performance is a lot more smoother in-game in compared to when I'm recording. It's noticeable that the logos, like the icons on the top right of the screen are taken from GDA 3. They are not from the original LCS, PSP or PS2 versions, no. Yeah, no. Okay, I want to test something. Hold on for a minute. I want to go to start game and I want to go to log game. I want to see. Oh, we've got a auto save. Okay, let's uh, let's load our auto save. There we are. <laughs> it just uh, installed on its own. Let's proceed to from the last Vincenzo mission. Sure, Mama. I'll call you later. Okay. Okay, let's take the bike. I like this Sanchez. Hopefully, the PC version, the official PC port, hopefully is going to be as good as... I mean, graphically, it should be a lot better than this one, which is in 2016. I 
don't even know what Rockstar is doing. I just hope that they will produce something at the, by the end of the year because it's been a long time and we have not seen anything. Well, in terms of a new game, at least or a remaster or something, we have not heard of. They have been pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. They have been pretty quiet. Spectacularly quiet. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm too quiet sometimes. It's a little bit scary. And you get too quiet, you get scary. In my opinion. I'm not dissing anybody. It's just that I find it sometimes a bit. Uh, I don't know what to say, but it's a bit disturbed by it. I'm disturbed by the fact that they are going to release DDA5. For I don't know how many times, and GTA 5 was released for free too at one time. At one point, it was free on the Epic Game Store. However, games like GTA 3 or Vice City or San Andreas have never became free. Not at one point have I seen them go for free on the Steam Store or the Epic Game Store. So what's what's up with that? Why can't you just make a game like GTA 3? Uh, become free like for a short period of time I know it's not a big deal but sometimes I feel like why not those games because those games should be released for free at least once you son of a bitch Benny you set me up set you up set you up when you came back to the city you had nothing nothing I set you up all right you ungrateful bastard with an apartment and a job hmm. and for I that generosity yeah, kind of. <laughs> I expect you to take a few risks now and then I ain't a charity pal okay and I ain't your sugar daddy so the police were watching the car screw the police when I tell you to do something you do it capiche oh yeah I understand Vinny I understand that as long as I work for you I get treated like a bitch well look I was making scores while you were looking up girl skirts have your bitch job back boss I quit Alright, time to trash this beautiful car. It is beautiful car, but we are not going to we are not going to use it. It is supposed to be Venice, but we are going to get rid of it because we, we want to make an example out of Vinny. Do not treat us like an idiot. So, yeah, there you go. Well, the game is definitely a uh, high definition, but um, really hope for something better in on a PC. I don't even know if this is happening or not. Anyway, so enjoy this beautiful scenery of a sports car being buried. Okay, let's take. Hurry! Get down. Oh, hi, Mom. How long have you been back in town? How come you don't come in here? I'm the mother for her holiness sake. Come on! Come on. <laughs> come on, give me a break, Ma Cipriani. Oh, this uh, junkyard is slightly different to the one in GTA 3 because there is a dirt bike session there's actually a dirt bike okay that that is a dirt bike and um, maybe the next time i'll do it but not today though 